Hey guys, the Bearded Gamer here, back with another video. So today we are upgrading my MSI GF63, which I had shown in my last video. So let's get started. So before we get started with the video, I would request all of you to please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified about future updates. So to start with the laptop upgrade, we'll first flip it around and then unscrew all the screws on the back plate and remove the back plate. There are a total of 12 screws on the back plate. We'll start from the one on the left hand, top left hand corner, then move on to the rest. Now that we are done removing the screws, let's go ahead and remove the back plate. To remove the back plate, we'll have to pull it out of its clips. There are a lot of clips on this back plate, so I'll be using a pry tool to go through each of them. So we'll start by sliding from one end and then keep pushing towards the end. As you guys can see, I'm sliding it through the gap between the back panel and the body and every time I reach a clip, I push it outwards. Now that we are done with one side, let's move on to the rest of the back panel removal process. And to do so, we'll follow the same exact procedure that we followed for this side for all the rest of the three sides. You guys need the tools that I am using, like the pry tool or the screwdriver. I have an entire kit. I'll be sharing links to the product in the description below. Do check it out.
Removing the back panel from the back side can be slightly difficult. I also faced some difficulty while removing this side. So make sure that you put slide through the entire section and remove all the clips by pushing them outwards individually before removing the back panel. Okay, so now I'm done with removing all the clips from all sides. So we'll go ahead and remove the back panel from the body. Once the back panel is removed, we now have access to the motherboard and all the slots that we need for this upgrade process. I will be upgrading my storage, the 1TB SSD and my RAM with an 8GB RAM. For this upgrade, I'll be using a crucial P1 1000GB or 1TB SSD. It's a NVMe M.2 SSD which would be a perfect fit for this build. I purchased this SSD off of Amazon for around 10,000 rupees. I will share the link to the product in the description below. You can go ahead and check it out. So once we open the SSD box, we get some paperwork and this very tiny NVMe M.2 SSD. Let's put the SSD to the side and go ahead and unbox our RAM. So I have also purchased a RAM from Crucial itself and from Amazon. This is an 8GB 2666MHz RAM. I am using a 2666MHz RAM because I was planning for a dual channel RAM support and the one that I have got with this laptop is also a 2666MHz RAM. Purchased this RAM from Amazon for around 3500 rupees. The link to this product will also be in this description. Laptop already comes with a 1TB Seagate Barracuda HDD. Since the loading speeds were pretty slow, that is why I planned on making the upgrade. If you guys want, you guys can remove the battery connector. I am not removing it as it is an external upgrade process. So I think that shouldn't be much of an issue. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pop in the SSD. Pretty simple. All you have to do is slide it in there and then Press it down and put the screw in. That's it. That's how simple it is. Now let's pop in the RAM which is even simpler. All you have to do is slide it in and push it down. Make sure the RAM the brand sticker is face up and the pins are matching. That's it. Alright, so the SSD and the RAM are now put in place. 
the upgrade process is now over all we need to do is put back the back plate put up the laptop transfer everything from the hard drive to the ssd including the operating system and then we are good to go so i'll start by putting on the back plate and all we have to do is follow the process in reverse as we did in the beginning If you guys are liking this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so I can make such videos again and again and help you guys get information about such upgrades and similar kind of videos. Now that the back plate is in its place and all the clips have been fastened, we'll go ahead and put back the screws.
all the screws have now been tightened. Now let's go ahead, flip the laptop and turn it on. I will directly be booting into the new SSD because I have used an external adapter to transfer all the Windows files and all my data from the HDD to the SSD using an external USB 3.0 adapter. I will share the link to that as well. But if you guys want, you can directly boot into your laptop, transfer all your files into the new SSD, then select it as the primary boot device and boot into the SSD later. Now we are booting into Windows. Let's see how it goes. As you guys can see, first boot and still it is booting so fast. We are at the window screen. Now let's get inside MSI Dragon Center, see all the new specifications. As you guys can see, I have the new SSD which has 61, 681 GB of storage available because of the windows and all the files that I have transferred. The RAM is now 16 GB. That's about it. Hope you guys like this video make sure that you subscribe and press the bell icon and don't forget to like this video that's all from my end thank you guys